Here are the starters. Number one, Cullen May Feisty, owned by Don Nolan of Harvard. He trains. Brent Holland will drive. Two, Foxy Graham, owned by Carol Graham of Salem, trained by Buddy Graham. The driver is Tony Morgan. Number three, Lucy Desiree, owned by John Nessa and Forrest Shoemaker of Aldemont, trained by John Nessa, Tim Tetrick in the bike. Number four, Kenan's Doris, owned by Ken Spurlock of Dyer, Indiana, trained by Mark Uricki. The driver is Dean McGee. Number five, Notorious Dame, owned by John Leahy of Westchester, by Anderson Racing of Crete, Illinois, and by Greg Pistaccini of California, trained by Joe Anderson. His son, Ryan Anderson, drives. Number six is OG's Miss Tony Capish, owned by Ronnie Gillespie of Macon, Mississippi. Willie Jones trains, and Eric Ledford is the driver. Number seven, Park Lane Powerful, is owned by the Fighting Major Stable of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler, the driver, Dave McGee. And number eight, Fox Valley Platinum, is owned by Hotspur Partners, Limited Liability Corporation of Waterford, Wisconsin. Trained by Nelson Willis, the driver is Dale Heitman. Post time on this trifecta race in just four minutes. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. They're off and pacing. Notorious Dame and Fox Valley Platinum from the outside, joined by Foxy Graham, who now bursts through a crowd of horses to get the lead. Cullen Me Feisty moves up the rail second. Notorious Dame goes wide in third. Fox Valley Platinum dives toward the rail in fourth. Lucy Desiree is behind her. And then Kennan's Doris, a gap of five more lengths to Park Lane. Powerful as they head around the first turn. And OG's Miss Tony Capish had an awkward move to the first turn, and now she drops way out to the back. She's got a lot of ground to make up. 27 and 4, quickest opening quarter we've seen today. And there goes Notorious Dame to the front. She was parked for... Every bit of that first quarter and then some, but now she's got the lead. Foxy Graham goes second by three. Cullen Me Feisty is third by five. And then Fox Valley Platinum, Lucy Desiree, Kennan's Doris, Park Lane Powerful, who's ten lengths off the lead, and a long way back to a troubled OG's Ms. Tony Capish, who is dropping out of the race as they head past the half-mile mark. And they're being led by Notorious Dame, the half in 56 and three-fifths seconds. Foxy Graham goes next toward the inside, then Cullen Me Feisty. There goes Fox Valley Platinum moving up from fourth into third, just over two lengths off the lead, followed closely by Kennan's Doris, who moves up in the outer flow. Park Lane powerful behind her, and then Lucy Desiree, and they're at the three-quarter mile mark. Notorious Dame leads it by a length. Fox Valley Platinum is on the outside, second by a half length, keeping Foxy Graham locked in toward the rail, then Kennan's Doris and Cullen Me Feisty. Three quarters, 126 and three. Notorious Dame leads it by three parts of a length. Fox Valley Platinum second. Kennan's Doris and Park Lane Powerful move out toward the center of the track. Eighth of a mile to come. Foxy Graham finds an opening down toward the inside. It's anybody's race. Lucy Desiree is in the center of the track. Now Fox Valley Platinum to the front with Park Lane Powerful and Kennan's Doris. Kennan's Doris, Lucy Desiree, and Park Lane Powerful. Park Lane Powerful getting up in the closing strides by a length over Kennan's Doris second. Lucy Desiree third and 155 and one. Into the winner's circle now, here is the unofficial winner of the sixth race of the day, number seven, Park Lane, powerful Dave McGee with the winning drive. Owned by the fighting major stable of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler, bred by Hunt and Williams, this sportsmaster filly scores her fourth win and her sixth career start. And the result is now official. See if we can talk to Dave McGee real quickly. Dave, Homer Hochstetler trains this filly, and he normally drives his own stock, at least on the trotting side. But why did Homer come to you, and what did he say when he first asked you this year to drive this filly? Well, I'm not sure why, but he uh, did ask me to drive her, and I was, I was happy to get the opportunity to drive her. She's a very nice filly. In the, Homer's absence here in the winter circle, the filly has been lightly raced. Has she fought any kind of problems as far as illness and things like that? Well, I'm not sure about that. He's just uh, taken his time with her and brought her along slowly. She maybe had a couple little problems early, but uh, she's uh, handled them quite well, and she's good right now. Well, Homer's a very patient trainer, and that usually does pay off. Dave, congratulations on the winning drive. Thanks, Kurt.
That's Dave McGee, the winner with Park Lane Powerful. The rundown is next.